Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, November 4th, 2015. My name is Cliff Backus, and this is your pushbuttonstocktrading.com daily video market review. Stocks closed higher but off their highs for the day. The NASDAQ tested and failed at resistance in the 5164 area. Volume was heavier, giving both the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 an accumulation day. An accumulation day is a trading session where a major average closes higher on heavier trading volume than the prior day. Accumulation is a sign of institutional buying. New York Stock Exchange advancing issues bettered decliners by 4 to 3 yesterday. New highs bettered new lows. Large capitalization stocks outperform small again and are outperforming on a 10-day moving average basis. Large caps outperforming is behavior less typical of a bull market. Our swing timing model is showing a short-term, extremely overbought condition in the market, so be careful. Longer term, our market timing model is on a buy for both the NASDAQ and the S&P 500, indicating that aggressive traders should maintain current margin levels, but let their trailing stops take them out of their current positions. More conservative traders can continue to redeploy capital on the long side, keeping your stops in place. The O'Neill timing model is indicating a confirmed uptrend in the market. Distribution's a concern, but much of the distribution's aging. Distribution's no longer relevant after a month or so and is removed from our count. According to our count, the NASDAQ has six distribution days and the S&P 500 has five in the past month. As we've been noting recently, Investor's Business Daily keeps a more sophisticated count and they have distribution at a much more bull-friendly two for the NASDAQ and four for the S&P. Distribution is a sign of institutional selling in the market and too much distribution over a short period of time can indicate that an uptrend is in trouble. All of our timing models are bullish, but our swing timing model, as noted, is indicating a short-term extremely overbought condition in the market. While an extremely overbought market can get severely overbought, short-term caution is advised. That being the case, bulls may want to take advantage of any short-term weakness that develops to bolster long positions. We're now a month into our confirmed uptrend. Traders should be fully invested, or nearly so by now, keeping your stops in place and being sure to follow your written rule sets. Okay, let's take a quick look at, their, at our Spectrum Analyzer. What we're looking at is HGSI, High Growth Stock Investors, universe of over 8,000 stocks, sorted by a combination of the most powerful stocks in the most powerful industry groups. We've made a group of the top 100 stocks in that sort, so let's plug those into our Spectrum Analyzer and see where the strength in the market is. Of the top 100 stocks in the market, nine were from the specialty pharmaceutical industry, nine were from the semiconductor devices industry, eight from biotech, six from application software, and rounding out the top five, six from refining and marketing. We're seeing a lot of specialty pharmaceutical recently and a lot of biotech. We're also seeing quite a bit of semiconductor devices recently. Those might be good places to look for buying opportunities. I'm going to start today by taking a look at the Russell 2000. In the Russell, we've been watching this trend line. While the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 were had turned around and become much more bullish. The Russell 2000 has been struggling with this downtrend. Note how two days ago we broke above that downtrend. We want to see the market take out resistance up here in the 1194 area. Yesterday we tried to take that area out, but we failed. We want to see the Russell take out that area certainly before we fall below this support area, but I would also like to see it stay above the downtrend. Let's see what the NASDAQ composite's up to. The NASDAQ had another good day yesterday, up 17.98 points or 0.35 points. 
We closed at 51.45. We tested resistance up here in the 51.64 area and failed at that point. We'll see if we can take that level of resistance out, which would make the next level of resistance the all-time high in the NASDAQ composite. Trading volume yesterday was higher than the prior day. It was higher than average and gave us an accumulation day. For you followers of William O'Neill, we are in a confirmed uptrend in the market. We have been since October 2nd. Right now, we're showing six distribution days on the NASDAQ, but IBD doesn't count these three and I think may not count this one either. So IBD is actually showing only two distribution days on the NASDAQ right now. NASDAQ is bracketed by support at this trend line. This trend line is our 2009 to August of this year trend line. And that represents support for the NASDAQ composite. Resistance, as we mentioned, is up here in the 5164 area. Our market timing model is showing the NASDAQ on a buy signal, which indicates that aggressive traders should maintain current margin levels and let their trailing stops take them out of their current positions. More conservative traders should continue to redeploy capital on the long side and keep your stops in place. Let's see what the S&P 500 is up to. S&P yesterday closed up 5.74 points or 0.27%. While we closed off of our highs for the day, we still closed in the upper half of our trading range, which is, is more of a bullish indication. The S&P closed at 2109. Trading volume was higher than the prior day, giving us an accumulation day or, or a day of professional buying on the S&P. S&P is in a confirmed uptrend with five distribution days over the past month. Right now, we are bracketed by support at this long-term trend line. Again, this is our 2009 to August trend line. So we're bracketed by support at that trend line and resistance up here in the 2134 area. The S&P is on a buy signal. Before we go, I want to take a quick look at a couple of stocks here real quick. The first, Virgin American is a low-cost airline offering premium services with scheduled air travel in the continental U.S. and Mexico. They also are flying to Hawaii now. We talked about this stock yesterday. And I'm going to talk about it again. We seem to be putting in this goofy little consolidation area right here or we could call it a cup base. It would be a first stage base. We have a pivot point on that base of 3807. I'm showing 3670. But we're going to call it pivot point 3807. Virgin American gets a 76% checklist rating and can be bought on a break above that 37, 3807 area on at least 140% of average daily volume. But the reason that this made our list today is again, we traded higher volume yesterday than any down day in the past 10 trading sessions, which gives us, gives us a pocket pivot and gives us a little bit of an earlier entry than the 3807 area. Virgin American can be bought here by aggressive traders. The other stock that we took a look at yesterday, DICOM Industries, provides engineering, construction, maintenance, and installation services to the telecom industry. The stock has been working on this second stage base with a pivot point in the $80.85 area. You can see yesterday that the stock broke out of that area, trading 167% of average daily volume. That's a legitimate breakout. DICOM gets a 68% checklist rating. Again, I'm sorry, gets a 72% checklist rating. And can be bought here 
on this breakout. That's about all I have for today. If you want to talk about any of the stocks mentioned today or any of our market strategies, please feel free to give me a call, drop me an email, or make an appointment. Come by the office, see what we're up to. Contact information is on the home page. Please take a minute to go to our subscription page and subscribe to Push Button Stock Trading. You can also follow us on Twitter at Push Button Stock. Again, my name is Cliff Backus. That's your daily video market review. Have a safe and profitable day. Keep your stops in place, and I will see you again tomorrow. Please stay tuned for our important disclaimers. All the best. Disclaimers. Push-button stock trading video market review is produced and edited by Clifford B. Backus. Mr. Backus is a senior vice president of investments, technical analyst, portfolio manager, and partner with the investment firm of O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated. Video market review is produced solely for the benefit of our clients, friends, and colleagues. Anything written, stolen, and or plagiarized in this publication is done without malice. Further, the analysis and opinions expressed in this publication are strictly those of the editor and not of O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated, its affiliates, subsidiaries, or any of the officers or employees of O'Hanison Liqueurs Inc. On that note, we submit the following. The analysis, calculations, and evaluations presented herein are based on data and assumptions O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated believes to be accurate. O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated makes no representation that such analysis or calculations are accurate or that such valuations represent levels at which actual trades may occur. This report has been prepared from original sources except where otherwise noted and data we believe to be reliable. O'Hanison Liqueurs Inc., its affiliates and subsidiaries and or their officers and employees or their families may from time to time acquire, hold, or sell a position in the securities mentioned herein. Moreover, opinions may differ from one entity to the next. If we are used in connection with the purchase or sale of any security discussed in this report, we may act as principal for our own account or as agent for both the buyer and the seller. Push Button Stock Trading is dedicated to the education of friends, clients, and paid subscribers. Push Button Stock Trading is an information service only. The information provided herein is not to be construed as an offer to buy or sell stocks of any kind. Push Button Stock Trading is created to aid subscribers in making informed investment decisions based wholly or in part on technical analysis. It's possible that at this time or some subsequent date, the editors of push button stock trading may own, buy, or sell the investments presented. All investors should consult a qualified professional before making any investment. The information provided has been obtained from sources deemed to be reliable, but it is not guaranteed as to the accuracy or completeness. The editors of Push Button Stock Trading make every effort to provide timely information to subscribers, but cannot guarantee specific delivery times due to factors beyond our control.